subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about the top interview questions for Salesforce CPQ Specialist. So let's get started. Question number 1, what are price conditions? Your answer is, a price condition compares a field value, summary variable, or formula against another field value, summary variable, or formula. A rule can contain as many conditions as you like. You specify which conditions must be true for your rule to apply its action. Question number 2, what are price actions? Your answer is, when your price rule meets its conditions, the rule applies its price actions to a target field. A price action source is the value from a summary variable, formula, user-defined value, or other quote line field and sends that value to your target field. A price rule must have at least one action. You can have several actions that target the same field or several actions that each target a different field. Question number 3, what is price rules configurator evaluation? Your answer is. A price rules configurator evaluation event determines when Salesforce CPQ applies the price rule to its target. You can change the evaluation event based on when you want sales reps to see the price rules results. Question number 4, what is Salesforce CPQ's advanced quote calculator? Your answer is. Salesforce CPQ's advanced quote calculator determines quote and quote line prices in response to user or automated actions. Review which types of actions cause your quote to recalculate. When the advanced quote calculator performs a calculation, it updates quote and quote line fields based on changes that users made after the last calculation. For example, if you gave a quote line a 10% additional discount and clicked calculate, Salesforce CPQ calculates the new pricing for that quoted line. It then updates your quote's total to reflect the quote line's price change. Question number 5, how do you disable real-time calculation for CPQ quotes? Your answer is 1. From Setup, in the Quick Find box, enter Installed Packages, and then select Installed Packages. 2. Find your Salesforce CPQ package, and then click Configure. 3. On the Pricing and Calculations tab, deselect the Calculate Immediately field. Question number 6 What is the purpose of asynchronous calculation? Your answer is By default. Calculations performed outside the quote line editor timeout if they take more than 30 seconds. Timeouts can be prevented by enabling asynchronous calculation. Calculations made in the quote line editor aren't affected but they take longer to complete. Question number 7. Why do you use lookup queries? Your answer is. Lookup queries are used with product rules to query data from an object other than a quote. That data is used to change products and configurations in the quote line editor and configurator. The product rules lookup query maps data from your lookup object back to your product rule. This process lets your product rule use lookup data fields and values in place of the rules actions and conditions. Question number 8, what are CPQ quote line group fields? Your answer is. Salesforce CPQ provides various custom managed fields for CPQ quote line groups. Quote lines groups store information about how lines on a quote are organized into groups. With certain page layout and field level security settings, some fields aren't visible or editable. Question number 9, describe quote templates. Your answer is. Quote templates control the formatting and organization of your quote document. Each template contains sections where you customize the presentation of individual content records such as line items, signature fields, and terms and conditions. Your templates can contain any number of sections in any order, and you can reuse sections between multiple templates. Question number 10, what are advanced approvals? Your answer is, advanced approvals package helps to automate and customize your approval process. You can require approvals when records meet certain conditions, automate resubmitted approvals, and control the order that approvers receive requests. Question number 11, what do you mean by twin fields? Your answer is. Certain pairs of CPQ objects pass custom field values from the first object to the second object when the second object is created. The values pass if the custom fields are editable, have matching field types, and have matching API names. We call these field pairs twin fields. Question number 12, what are the two types of error conditions? 
Your answer is. An error condition contains two sections, information and filter information. Information defines an object, a field on an object, or a variable to test. Filter information defines a logical operator and a value to test against. Question number 13. Explain CPQ validation rules. Your answer is. Validation rules confirm that a quote's product combinations or quote line field values match predetermined conditions. Users see an error message, and can't save their product configuration or quote until they meet these conditions. Question number 14. Why should we use validation rules? Your answer is. Validation rules ensure that the users create parts of their quotes in a manner that you can control. If the quote isn't configured in this way, the quote line editor shows an error message when the user tries to save. Set the text for this error message in the product rules message field, the message appears, and users can't save the product configuration or quote until the product rules error conditions evaluate to true. Question number 15. What are co-terminated subscriptions? Your answer is. Co-terminated subscriptions are prices that you have negotiated with specific customers and should be automatically applied to all quotes for that customer. They are available on the account and can be applied to any product in any price book. Contracted prices can be constrained to a specific time period. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.